Hey guys! Today's my last day with a poetry read aloud, and for our last day, I decided to do a review of some poetry we looked at last week that I think a lot of you had a lot of fun with, and that was those concrete poems. And if you remember, concrete poems are the poems that make the shape of whatever it is your poem is about. So today I'm going to read a few poems from a book called A Poke in the Eye. And if you notice, it's the letter I, not like your eye. Um, and that's actually the title of one of the poems in this book. So I'm going to read and share the picture of a few of these concrete poems with you. The first one's called A Seeing Poem. A seeing poem happens when words take a shape that helps them to turn on a light in someone's mind. And if you look at the picture, the words are the shape of a light bulb. Okay, this one's called A Weak Poem. Oh dear, this poem is very weak. It can hardly stand up straight, which comes from eating junk food and going to bed too late. If you look at the lines of the poem, see how they keep starting right here and then drooping down, showing that they're weak, tired. This one's fun. This one's called Skipping Rope Spell. Turn rope turn, don't trip my feet. Turn rope turn for my skipping feet. Turn rope turn, turn round and round. Turn in the air, turn on the ground. One for your high, one for your low. Turn rope turn, not too fast, not too slow. Turn rope turn, turn to the north, turn to the south. But please rope please, don't make me out. See how all the words are swirls? Can anyone tell what the main idea of that poem is? If you think about the words and the way the words are shaped, I think it's about jump roping. Okay, here's our last one from this book. It's called Popsicle. And look at the shape of the words. Popsicle, popsicle, tickle tongue fun. Lick stick sickle, stick sickle, please don't run. Dripsicle, slipsicle, melt, melt. Tricky, stopsicle, plopsicle. Hands all sticky. I think we all know how that feels. So you probably know that Mother's Day is coming up this weekend. I think it would be a great gift for you to make a card for mom. And think about all these different types of poems that we've practiced. Write a poem for mom. It could be a concrete poem, making the shape of something that it's about. It could be a haiku, like we read about the other day. It could even be an acrostic poem, when you have the name or word down the side, and each line starts with that letter. Get creative with it. Make some great pictures to go with it, and I'm sure your mom would love it. Have a great weekend.